you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures too. She sounded so sure. I know she must have laid her hands on something to be that convinced. Father, she has laid her hands on nothing. Were you sitting with her? Yes, Father. What's going on between both of you? Well, she told me in confidence that the people of Iziama Kingdom have discovered precious stones. Precious stones? Yes, Father. What kind of precious stones? Well, she didn't tell me exactly what kind of precious stones. But those who are in stones have confirmed, Father, that indeed they are precious. And that the people of Iziama Kingdom will make a lot of money from those stones. In which portion of the land was it discovered? Father, she has not told me. Why did they delay? She's making some demands that I didn't want to give in to, but, but I've accented to it, so everything's under control now. Yeah, what's she asking for? That is a very bad demand. Murder is a very serious offense in Igbo land. Especially when it has to do with that of a helpless woman. Well, Father, that's exactly what I told her. But she insisted. What are you going to do? Marry her. And throw Olaku out. That is never going to happen. Well, Father, I cannot afford not to possess those stones. We must do everything necessary. Father! From what you have said so far, you're not even sure the stones are found in our own land. Well, that is true. But until I find exactly where those stones are, I am not going with that thought. You are beginning to sound unpredictable. Do you have other plans? Yes, Father. Talk to me about it. Oh, Father. I would do anything and everything to ensure I possess those stones. Everything! And that would include invasion of the borders of Aziama people? Yes, Father. That will be an act of war. And I will never support that. Well, Father, I've heard about wealthy kingdoms. You have told me stories. Conquest is part of the strategy. If we must go to war to claim their land and have the precious stones, then, Father, so be it. My son. Listen. We have enjoyed a peaceful relationship with our neighbors, the Iziama people. And I'm not about to sacrifice that because of 
mere precious stones. So you better, better perish that thought. Okay. Okay. Okay, listen to me. What is it? What is going on? What are you talking about? You have been avoiding me lately. What is going on? I have been busy. Busy? And I assume this busy you are talking about is with the prince. What do you mean by that? Come on, okay. I have my eyes on you. And I discover that you've been having secret meetings with the prince. Then again, I ask, what is going on? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course, you know what I am talking about. And I ask a question which deserves an answer. What is going on? One thing I heard a man is following me around. Now I ask, don't you have any other thing to do than following me around? Wow. It's obvious that you are practically deviating from the point of discussion. Well, I am not ready for this discussion right now. Are Excuse you? me. Okay. Okay. Which means the information I have concerning her mother is correct. I'm shocked, sure Papa. Information is very correct. <laughs> you know what that means. But honestly, Papa, the kind of life that her mother lived will not stop me from marrying her. I'm getting married to her and not to the mother. Which means you don't know the tradition and cultures of this land. And I'll be glad to educate you. Papa, spare me all that. Eh? Ujuma is a nice girl. Well mannered and cultured. Papa, she can never leave me for any other man. The crime we are dealing with here is the one rooted in blood. No matter how much she tries to hide it, someday in the future, it will certainly come out. Papa, I disagree with you. I totally disagree with you. I mean, we even have a saying that says, Ofunne namu, manufuchi adieke. That is to say, children of the same woman are of different destinies and chances in life. Mm -hmm. I agree with you completely. But the issue under discussion is different. Papa, it's not different. It's not different. You are just saying things that will make me grow weak towards my woman. And that is not fair. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I'm not expecting you to agree with me completely. But the bottom line is, you are not going to marry her. Papa, you didn't just say that. You heard me right. So start looking around for another maiden to get married to. What? I didn't just speak as your father. But as Ichi Eloka, the Okwa Nasanya of Umu Oganiwe Kingdom, I do not want any objections or arguments. Anna, I can see the ripple effect of your work. Good job. <laughs> what do you intend to achieve? Don't bother about that, okay? <laughs> do you realize you just destroyed that beautiful relationship? On the contrary, I saved Nabife from destructions. We both know Junwa is a good girl, and she would have made a good wife. Don't be too sure about that. Good wife is beyond physical look. She's only been judged by the actions of the mother. That alone is very wrong. People should be judged by their own actions. You know that. Don't preach to me. All I know is that Nabife will not marry that fool. Yes. Let me even ask you. What has she done to you that is so bad that you hate her this much? I never said I hated her. That question is unfounded. Yeah. Listen, my daughter. Crying will not solve the problem. <laughs> crying doesn't solve any problems. Stop crying, please. <laughs> Papa, why me? Why me? <laughs> it's okay, eh? It's okay, eh? I will see Nabife and I will talk with him. Eh? I'm sure this matter will be resolved. 
Okay? Mama, I will kill myself. I will kill myself if Nabife does not marry me. I will kill myself. Why would you even think of that? <laughs> Killing yourself for what? For who? Please don't go there. Don't even think of it. <laughs> eh? Life is too precious for you to... You, you, just kill yourself for anything. No, please don't do that. Mama, eh? I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> if he insists on not marrying me, I will kill myself. If he insists on not marrying you, that means the gods do not support your marriage to him. Yeah? Mama, I've, I've invested so much energy and time in this relationship. He must marry me, oh. Nabife must marry me. Uh -uh. <laughs> Nabife marrying you is not a force. Eh? It's not by force. He, he Listen. You are not going to kill yourself. Eh? Life is too precious to be tied to any man. How can you tie your life to Nabife? <laughs> Who is in Nabife? Papa, he's everything to me. He's not just any man. Nabife is not just any man. He's my world. <laughs> but you are not going to kill yourself for anything. Your life is much more precious. Eh? Stop crying. And you will not kill yourself. Stop this. Eh? You know what? Whatever you think you're doing will not work. You know why? Because by creation, the gods have already destined Ujumwa <laughs> to be my wife. <laughs> I don't expect you to say otherwise. Is it not you? Or soon you wake up to reality and come begging for my love. <laughs> now I see that you're a dreamer. And the earlier you wake up from this wild dream of yours, the better for you. There is something you seem to be forgetting. I belong to the class of women that get whatever they want, no matter how difficult it is. <laughs> well, you will not get this one. You will not. Even if you like, use all the charms in this world. You will not get this one. Far from it. I mean, the last thing I will do is to use charm on you. Our love is born out of natural feelings. <laughs> and that it will remain. Well, we both will be alive to see how that played out. Now that you have chance, come and marry me. To fear! Pua! Me. Marry you. <laughs> Even if that happens in my dream, I will wake up and I will reject it. What has Ujuma given to you? You want to know? Yes. Well, let me tell you, Neka. She gave me respect, care, attention, which you could not give to me. Mm -hmm. Even as we speak right now, that inborn disrespect is still coming out from me. Why are you demanding so much from me when you have not given me a chance in your life? I have given you all the chances in the world, Neka. I have. But you already showed me that you are this woman that only dreadful men can manage. And I am not one of those men. And I will have nothing to do with you. Not in this life, not in the next time to come. With time, you'll Rubbish. come back begging for my love. Greetings. You don't look happy. What is the problem? You're part of my problem. You are my problem. How? What you're asking me to do is too much. You don't expect me to get rid of my wife because of you. That means you are not ready to know where the precious stones are found. Ask for something else. Ask me something else. Give me another demand. No. Okay, fine. I accept. Where can the stones be found? Slow down. Slow down, my prince. First, take her out of the way. Then I will know how serious you are. What do you mean, take her out of the way? What, what does that mean? Kill her. Kill your wife. Kill my wife. That's too much to do. Too much for you to do? 
Come on, my friends. Olaku should be turned off if you want me to give you the information you seek. Why are you still here? I am done with you, woman. How else can I say it? Pack your things and leave. <laughs> I knew it would come to this. I knew it. But before I go, can I can I ask you a question? Don't have time for your questions. That's fine. I just want you to tell me what I have done wrong. Before I leave, I need you to tell me what did I do wrong. You have not given me a child. That is what you have been doing wrong. Did you get me pregnant and I refuse to give you your child? I refuse to carry your child? This is why I hate you. Full of excuses. You must find excuse in everything. Pack and get out. Listen. My love, listen, I am not making excuses. I just told you my truth. That's it. I don't have time for this argument, okay? Leave. You know, I... I never wanted you to regret anything. You see this? You will regret it. It's my regret to live with. May the gods judge you. I am prepared. You are happy now, right? Very happy. Then I have bad news for you. If I, Ujumwa, cannot have Nabufe, no one else will. Ujumwa, this sounds like a challenge to me. Call it whatever you want. I do not care. Ujumwa, you just challenged me. I swear on the gods, I will crush you. You won't dare. All right, so we shall see. I will be waiting. And this time, you need to know that this meeting is ready for you. I will match you one move for one move. One slap for one slap. And one deep cut for one deeper cut. Ujum, I promise you, we shall see. Bring it! Greetings, Father. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Father, this is Ogechi, the maiden I wish to marry. You have decided to take a second wife? No, Father. I don't understand you. I know you already have a wife. A wife who lives with you in this palace. The wife who has cooked for me as a king and I've eaten her meal. And I have proudly said, wife of my son. Well, father, I understand all of that. But I sent her away earlier today. And I'm just hearing of it? My apologies, father. It's just that I cannot continue to tolerate her excesses. So, can you tolerate this one? Yes, Father, I can. I cannot deny you of anything as my beloved son. As long as she will make you happy and prosperous and give you my blessings. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I am grateful. Thank you, Your Majesty. You are the man of the gods. Thank you, Father.
Are you okay, my princess? Do you need anything, my princess? My princess, why the sudden change of mood? This will be the very first time you will be blocking me. You did this because you feel you are the head of the maid, Sifenkeli. Let this be the very last time. If this happens again, you won't like my reaction. These are boundaries between home organism and our people. My father told me that once you descend that hill, that you will get to Umoganigwe. Does it mean you have not seen them? Say what, my princess? We should please not interrupt the princess. She's gifted and it's possible she's seen things. I see them filtering into our land. So many of them. They're coming. Men determined to harvest what they did not cultivate. If that is the case, we should not be here, my princess. And that is the truth. This land already confirmed to be rich in precious stones. It's our land. And you shouldn't be here. I am the princess of Eziama kingdom. Forget the fact that I am not here with Eziama warriors. It is suicidal for you to stay on this land and lay claim to it. <laughs> <laughs> What have you just done? Showing you that we are not joking. You just killed a maiden of the Yama Kingdom. You are not! This is just a warning. We are coming. We will suck you from Izyama and take what we want. So my daughter, can you tell us exactly where the land is located? Yes, Your Highness. The land at the boundary between Ezama and our kingdom, Your Highness. I know the place. And that is where the precious stones are located. You have done well, my daughter. And you'll be adequately rewarded at the end. Thank you, Your Highness. But there is no reward bigger than getting married to the Prince of Omoganigwe Kingdom. Consider yourself my son's wife. I've already given my blessing. Thank you, Your Highness. You are one of a kind. You are the one with the precious information. And I consider you an asset to reality. My love, let's go to my chamber. I have something important to discuss with you. Father, please permit us. Permission granted. Thank you, Father. It is now obvious that your marriage with Ujumwa will never work. Papa, I am not ruling marrying Ujumwa out, Papa. I'm not. This is a, a reality you must face, son. The earlier you start looking for another maiden to get married to, the better. Papa, it is either Ujumwa or nobody else. You are beginning to sound like someone on the spell, son. And I can never take it. Far from that, Papa. I'm not under any spell. You have lost your sense of good reasoning. And someone has to call you back to order. Papa, nothing is wrong with me. Nothing is wrong with me, Papa. Papa, you are condemning a girl that has done nothing to you. Just because of the kind of life her mother lived. We have had this discussion before, and I don't want to revisit it. On the contrary, Papa. We have to revisit it. We have to because you're taking a stand that is not favorable to me. Then make that stand favorable to you. Start making up your mind to either go back to Neka or get another maiden to get married to. Papa, 
if this is about Mecca, then I'm sorry to disappoint you, Papa. It will never, ever work. Then get another maiden. Find another maiden. There are maidens everywhere. Get one and get married to her. Papa, I don't need any other maiden. It is Ujumwa that I want. And Ujumwa I must get. It is either I marry Ujumwa or I remain single for the rest of my life. I'm sorry, Papa. I have something to do inside. If you may excuse me. Hmm. She just became a different person so suddenly. Can anyone tell why the sudden change in mood? I don't know. Should we not go to her and find out? But why should we? You just heard the instructions she gave. Something is wrong with her. Exactly what I am thinking. Something is definitely wrong with her. As you've confirmed that something is wrong with her, should we not be with her? I was observing her. She got transported into another room while she was standing with us. Are you sure the princess has not become an easy one and we don't even know? I don't believe so. She is troubled. That is why she has been feeling very disturbed. That is one fault I find with her. She should tell people around her what troubles her. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Good. So good to see you. Good to see you too, my love. Uh, you know what? I've been thinking. Thinking? Yes. About what? About our love and our best to achieve our dreams of living our lives together as lovers, you know? <laughs> Great. So, talk to me about it. Okay. I think we should elope. Oh. Yes, let's, let's go to a faraway kingdom. A place where you and I can live our dream together. Being husband and wife without any disruption, without anybody interfering in our lives. I think that is great. I never thought about it like that. Okay, does that mean you like the idea? Of course I love the idea. <laughs> Look. That is exactly what we are going to do. Okay. Alright, so when do we move? Um. Okay, two days from today will be perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, so, um, that will give us enough time to prepare before leaving. Okay, I think I should hurry and go stop back in the ready, right? right? See, come here. Stop <laughs> thinking. Don't you ever think that you won the battle. I am already a winner, Olak. So go home and lick your wound. Really? He is my husband. <laughs> and there's no way that I will allow you to succeed with him. I would never. <laughs> he was. Was your husband. And that is how it's going to remain. <laughs> my dear. You just said it. Husband. And you do not know how far that I'm willing to go. Mm. To get all that belongs to me. And who cares? Who cares how far you are willing to go? Olak, he was my man. <laughs> you took him from me. All I did is take back that which belongs to you. Your me. irresponsible way of life made him leave you. Wash I just told you my truth. 
Because everybody in this community knows how irresponsible you are. What you re represent. We all know that. Fine. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm very happy you already know what I represent. So, do not stand my way. Because if you do, I will so crush you and move on. <laughs> She's actually forgetting something here. You think I am still that little and naive lack that yeah. you usually intimidate? The answer is no. Yeah. She's not. You see? Hmm. <laughs> But that means um, you are confidently joining the battle line because you think you have arrived? I am not afraid of you. I will comfortably go to war with you. Know you.